Herbert, shotgun pass, looking for Mike Williams, throwing for Mike Williams, left sideline, up, caught! Mike Williams with the catch inbounds, left sideline to the 31. What a grab by Mike Williams. What's up, guys? Welcome to a week seven edition of Film Room presented by YouTube TV. Here with Daniel Jeremiah. And DJ, what can you say about the rookie Justin Herbert? All he's missing is a win, which hopefully he'll get on Sunday. Yeah, look, everything's been impressive except for the final score, but he's done everything in his power to keep the Chargers in these football games that he's been starting. And you're seeing really growth every single week, Chris. I want to show you a couple of plays here to get you fired up based off the Saints game. Uh, this first one is down here in the red zone. You're going to have a seven-man pressure. You can count them up here at the line of scrimmage. you got seven rushers. Uh, you've only got six blockers, so you're going to be hot. Now, the hot route is going to be down here on the bottom. You're going to see Justin Jackson is the running back is split out running a slant. Now, if he throws this ball here, uh, it's going to be caught and tackled right there at about the 15-yard line. But he sees it, and he realizes, I'm Justin Herbert. I can buy a little time. I'm athletic. I'm just going to beat this free rusher with my legs buy some time, and then throw this off-balance strike for a touchdown to Keenan Allen. So uh, to me, there's very few people that are capable of being able to bypass the hot route, as you see it right here from the end zone, be able to generate enough time to find your way into the end zone. It's an incredible play by Justin Herbert. I was just going to say, DJ, it's one thing. I think a handful of quarterbacks can do this, but a rookie doing this in the Superdome on Monday Night Football, that, that's next level. Yeah, and he's just getting started, and that's what's so exciting about him is that he 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 finds opportunities and he, he's able to cash it in. I want to give you another example here of where you have a, a busted coverage. This is Mike Williams who motions up to the top of the screen. This should be a two-high safety look. You look at the safety down here on the bottom. He's playing in a two-shell. Look at the safety up at the top. He should be playing in that deep half. The corner is going to be squatting right there. He assumes he's got safety help over the top. And his eyes are in the backfield with well, the safety squatting. And Herbert, he sees it immediately. And when you make a mistake like that in coverage, you've got to be able to make them pay. And that's exactly what Justin Herbert did right here. And DJ, this is the first game where we really saw Mike Williams and Justin Herbert connect. This could be a fun connection for the next five to seven years. Yeah, I just want to see Mike stay healthy. When Mike stays healthy, all he does is make plays down the field and it gets you really excited. Um, but I showed you an example of a safety making a mistake there and cashing in. I'm going to show you one more here, Chris. Uh, watch the safety at the top. You see the safety at the top. He's going to get to about the 35-yard line. Herbert gets to the top of his drop. Now watch this safety settle right here. Once he sees him settle, I know I've got it if I'm mm -hmm. Justin Herbert. And at the top of his drop, watch him uncork this one to Jalen Guyton for a huge play, probably should have kept his feet, would have been a touchdown. But again, being able to see coverage, identify safeties, and when they level off, man, you got to strike and make them pay. All right, we got one more here from Herbert on YouTube TV. But, you know, just the fact that Guyton, this is a guy who they work together at training camp. That chemistry is already on display. It's pretty cool to see. It's fun to watch these new weapons kind of develop. And we, we wondered who that player was going to be this year. You know what you're going to get with Keenan Allen. You know what you're going to get with Mike Williams. Who is going to step up to complement those guys? And Jalen Guyton has done that thus far with his speed and big playability down the field. I want to show you one last play here from Herbert. This should have been the game-winning play. Uh, led to a field goal opportunity. Unfortunately, the Chargers didn't cash in. But there's 15 seconds left. You see Mike Williams down here at the bottom of the screen. And they're going to show, they're going to try and disguise coverage with single high look here. So they're trying to trick him into taking this ball with Mike Williams. They're going to try and run a defender out to try and catch up to him here. Look at him trying to catch up from being down low. But Herbert knows there's no chance he's got to get there. I'm going to put this up in the air and I'm going to let Mike Williams do what he does, which is just mm. play above the rim, go high point the ball, make an incredible catch, ironically, in front of the word catch and put them at the 30 yard line with a chance to, to win the football game with a kick. But uh, that was, again, identifying coverage, being aggressive, and taking your shot down the field. DJ, honest question. What was better, the throw or the catch? <laughs> well, the, the, the throw was the right read. It was a great throw. And as much as we've uh, been giving Herbert a lot of praise, I think when you slow this down, we might need to give the nod to Mike here. Look at him go up and get this football. Right, we'll, we'll, give Mike the, we'll give Mike the nod on that one. And speaking of wide receivers, you flip it over to Jacksonville, LaVisca Chanel. DJ, this was a guy that you really liked coming out of Colorado. Had some injuries, but man, he's a player. Yeah, if he's not injured in his last year at Colorado, he's probably a top 15 pick. I mean, that was the consensus on him coming into his final year at Colorado. 
And it looks like the Jags got an absolute steal where they were able to land him in this draft class. And he's doing a lot of his damage, Chris, working in the middle of the field. And it's because of what he does at the top of his route. And I want to show you a couple examples down here in the red zone. You see him on the bottom of the screen here. Watch him work in the middle of the field. Watch him settle right here. This is a route you'll see a lot in the red zone. Once he settles, you want the defender to settle. Watch the defender mirror him once he settles. His feet stop, and then LaVisca Chanel is just able to start mm. a lot quicker. So you get that in the red zone. It's a nice, easy read, easy throw for your quarterback and Gardner Menchu, and then he just wins the foot race to the end zone. But that's, that's kind of what he's been doing throughout the whole year is working in the middle of the field and doing an excellent job at the top of his route. Give you another example. He's at the top of the screen right here. Watch this corner. Watch him stem this corner up, what we like to call it. I'm going to slow it down. Watch him stem him up. See him get him on his heels. And once he's on his heels, look at the amount of separation he creates on that crosser. Just that little subtlety at the top of the route, Chris. You talked about his competitiveness and his toughness coming out of Colorado. Also, you had a comp last year. I looked it up a combination of Juju Smith-Schuster and Mike Williams. I like that combo, DJ. Yeah, and we've seen just the toughness and the physicality of those guys. And I'll give you a final example here of him working in the middle of the field. This is going to be a third down here. Uh, this is third and four. So LaVisca Chenault's in the slot down here in the bottom. He's just going to spot up right over the ball, okay? So there he is. He's at the sticks. You see where the sticks are. The ball's getting ready to come out of Gardner Menchu's hand. You think, okay, great job. He's going to get the first down. It's going to be a five-yard gain. There's four Colt defenders around him right there. So that's a win, right? Five-yard gain. And then you let the play roll. And as you let it roll, watch what he does with it. Just ping pong off a tackle and look at the yards he generates after the catch. You can see it even better here from the end zone. This is a linebacker that's going to hit him full force and it just it doesn't even phase him. He's so big and strong. Just bounce right off and go get you some more after the catch. So that toughness, that physicality, that ability to work in the middle of the field, you better bring your arms. You better wrap up LaVisca Chenault.